Okay, I have hooked up a webcam now to show you the Arduino as we do this. Uh, not much use for the webcam and the uh, picture of the Arduino right now, but I'll show you that when it communicates and we upload our sketches, these lights will start flashing to know that there's communication going on there. Alright, now we're going to start our first uh, sketch. And this will be our program to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send a message and write to the serial monitor. And by doing this we're going to write hello world, send it across the serial cable, and it will come up here on our computer screen. So first thing that we need, if you have the new uh, Arduino IDE application here, uh, it will already put in the functions that are needed for every sketch to work and I've got an older one here so I have to write it in myself void setup and void loop now every every Arduino sketch is going to need both of these whether there's anything in them or not they're needed I'll show you here. We'll take out the void loop and we'll try to upload this to our Arduino and we should get a, an error here. Let's see. It's compiling the sketch. And it should take a little bit, but it's going to come back and error out. Say that we're missing. Uh, da, da, da in function main and right down here unidentified re reference to loop there is no loop so if we do this now we'll try and compile and upload it again and you'll see that it will work and when it starts uploading you'll see some lights flash in here on the board when it's communicating to it here we go flash yep now it's been all uploaded and that's that's as easy as it is to upload our programs or our sketches. Now right now we're going to write to the serial monitor through the serial port and we're going to need to open up communications with the serial port. So we write serial begin and I'm going to go 9600 baud rate. This is the rate of communication between these two and now we'll write our message to our serial our serial monitor. So here we're going to write serial dot print and we'll write our message hello world. And we'll close the parentheses and our lines need to have a semicolon after them. Now this is going to print over and over and over it, it continuously. Uh, when our program first starts, it does it executes the setup first. This uh, anything that you want to set, like your pin modes, uh, right to your pins, high or low, your pins uh, input or output, any of that information needs to go in here. And after the setup, it will go down and it will do the loop continuously forever. And so here, we're going to upload just a print hello world to the serial monitor. So here we're going to upload it. And as soon as it's done compiling and uploading, I'm going to open up the serial monitor and we'll see what's happening. Uploading. Okay. And here you go. Hello world. Going across the screen crossed, across, crossed, and it's going really, really fast. You can barely see it. So what we're going to do, serial print prints everything to one line and it keeps going. One line, one line, one line. keeps going right after another. Now if we put in LN, this tells, tells the program that we're going to print hello world and then we're going to, that's going to be the end of the line. It's almost like a carriage return 
or uh, the next line and now you'll see it'll print down instead of across one right after another so let's see here we'll compile upload as soon as this is uploaded we will see a different view okay serial monitor hello world now it's going down and it's going so fast you can barely see these these bottom bottom words uh, what what you can do to add a little time in your program if you need to see what's going on you can do a delay we're going to delay a thousand would be one second we're going to go a half a second and we need our semicolon at the end now let's upload this and see what it does now we should have a pause of a half a second before it prints the next line that's what should happen let's see if it happens uploading here we go hello world much better we can read this stuff now and that will just keep going and going now that was our first program writing to the serial monitor uh, next I will take you through uh, doing a for loop and if and else statements